What's up, Leo? This is your love forecast for the second half of September. That's September 15th through till the 30th. This is for my Leo Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and for the cross watchers. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a like and throw me a comment. And if you are new to my channel, I put these out every two weeks. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can keep up with me as I get them out to you. Okay, let's get started. Spirit, what's coming in for my Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the area of love, second half of September. Any love messages for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, second half of September. What can you tell my Leo is coming in for them in the area of love, second half of September. Last one. Okay. Temperance, Four of Swords, Empress, Seven of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. Okay. Leo, something's been coming together slowly. <laughs> okay, with the Temperance card. This is like a slow mover. It's testing your patience. You're very like, go, go, go. This is very slow. Temperance card, you could be dealing with the Sagittarius. It doesn't have to be. Either way, this is all about things coming together in time. Okay, but I do feel like it's been testing your patience. Things have been like maybe at a rest state, not really moving. Four of Swords here, that tells me that. It also tells me that you could be a little introspective at the moment, trying to think about how you feel about this situation because maybe it's taking a little while to get it to where you want it to be. Seven of Pentacles means you have a groundwork with this person, whoever comes to mind, okay? Pentacles energy, you could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Earth sign, okay? The thing is, right, Seven of Pentacles means you've, you've laid the groundwork, but you're waiting for it to come to fruition. You're waiting for the work to pay off. And I feel like that's kind of wearing you out a little bit. Okay, Empress card here. Um, you could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus, um, or this is you in divine feminine energy. You know, you wanting to be a wife and a mother. Okay, if someone's seen you in that way, but it's taking a little while to get things off the ground, <laughs> okay? It's slow. Um, so yeah, you could have a divine counterpart here. It could be a twin flame or a soulmate. This is you and divine feminine energy, okay? Um, this could also be you kind of standing in your power, all right? Maybe this thing is taking too long and you're just now introspective a little bit about whether this is something you want, okay? Ace of Cups here in the overall energy tells me there's a lot of love here between you and a person. But if you've pulled back a little bit, this is also about renewal of love. Okay, so it's like someone wants to recreate the love in this scenario. You have the groundwork. It's not there yet. It's taking a long time. If you've pulled back, this person's feeling it and they want to recreate the love. Tell me about the Ace of Cups. Whoops, too many. Tell me about the Ace of Cups, please, Spirit. Tell me about the Ace of Cups. Tell me about the Ace of Cups. Oops. Oh, interesting. Leo, you could have a third party coming in, okay? Because that Ace of Cups, this is about new beginnings in love as well. So you could be pulling back from a situation that's taking too long. And Three of Swords often means third party situations. Okay, so there could be someone else coming into the picture where you might be decide, deciding to like sever the person you've been dealing with to move towards someone else. Okay, um, that's why maybe you're going within in the second half of September to decide how you want to move. All right, tell me a little bit more about this Three of Swords. Tell me more about the Three of Swords. Yes, yeah, Strength card, okay? Could be dealing, well, that's you showing up in your own reading, Leo. Um, or you could be dealing with a Leo, okay? Strength card, this is all about, you know, courage and determination, okay? So this is about you making decisions um, courageously about what you really want moving forward in the second half of September. Um, whether you want to break away from something or whether you want to stay in it. The other thing that I'm getting is it's possible that you're dealing with a person that has a third party, okay, guys? Because the energies can be transferable, um, you know, and now there's like a decision whether to break away from a person or to stay. Um, either way, yeah, I feel like with that strength card, it's all about, you know, courage, as I said, about making a decision. Tell me about that. 
yeah chariot on how to move forward okay chariot card this is about courage to move forward courage to either continue and determination to continue with what you're in or to move away from it to move forward chariot card could be dealing with a cancer you could be also dealing with someone that lives at a distance perhaps doesn't have to be okay um, or you could be moving towards someone else is what I said. So either you've, you've got this long-standing commitment with someone, but there's a distance between you, or there could be someone new coming in um, where you're moving forward with that person, okay? Tell me about this Empress card. You're in your Empress energy, so I think that you're ready to grow and expand. Yes, Ace of Pentacles, you're ready for commitment. You want this commitment, okay? You have an Ace of Cups and an Ace of Pentacles. So I do feel like you're heading towards solid commitment with this person you have the groundwork with. However, it's taking too long and I think that there is some interfering energy here, okay? With that Three of Swords and I feel like you're ready to kind of either stay and stick it out or move forward and have this new um, opportunity for commitment elsewhere, all right? or. Perhaps this is the way that the person that comes to mind feels about you. Maybe there's something that they're moving towards um, because there's definitely this element of testing, of strength being tested of this connection, okay, with that strength card as well. Um, tell me a little bit more about that Ace of Pentacles and the Empress. Yes, third party situations. Look at that, Three of Cups, okay? So there's an opportunity here to either stay in where you're at or commit elsewhere or a person that you're dealing with has that opportunity i'm more sensing that's you leo okay i just feel like this person's taking too long to um get their shit together <laughs> pardon my language okay and i feel like you have an opportunity coming at you where you're going to be able to break away and maybe commit elsewhere but you're not too sure tell me about this four of swords this is introspection <clears throat> gosh guys i've been getting this in all my videos throat chakra this is like standing in your truth and standing in your power okay let's see if we get that later on in the oracles I feel like this is about you having the courage to honor what you really want. And that's why you're in, a, in sort of introspective mode to kind of tap into that hermit card. As I say, introspective mode, okay? Hermit, you're in hermit mode, okay? You've gone within to think about things, all right? And I feel like that's why something else, you're almost manifesting something else to come forward. Hermit card is um, Virgo energy, okay? Um, but either way, this is about sort of emotionally distancing yourself from a situation to kind of figure out what you truly want, what aligns with your happiness. Okay, tell me more. Yes, Ace of Swords and speaking your truth. This is the Throat Chakra card, okay? So let's see if it comes out as an oracle, but definitely Ace of Swords is speaking your truth, standing in your power, okay? Tell me one more about that. What's Leo's truth? <laughs> five of pentacles yeah that you're a bit disappointed with this situation leo because it hasn't been working out the way that you wanted to perhaps this situation leaves you has you feeling left out in the cold a little bit because you don't feel like you're getting the um you know getting to where you want it to go basically okay or maybe you're going to end up leaving someone out in the cold because you're going to stand in your power speak your truth and move in a new direction okay tell me about that five of pentacles yes the four Okay, taking a leap possibly for something new, okay? Or a person's going to take a leap towards you to offer you something new, either renewing the love in this connection that's taking too long to kind of move forward, um, you know, or you're gonna leap towards something new, okay? With that full card, now this is Aquarian energy, as I said, because things are taking too long, Knight of Pentacles is here. Like I said, Leo, this is a very slow cook, this connection that you're dealing with, okay? Knight of Pentacles always gets to his destination. He's the slowest moving knight, okay? This means you are inching towards the commitment that you want, okay? But I think you're pulling back and this person that you've been dealing with is gonna offer you that new beginning, okay? But you're gonna have to make a decision if you wanna stay in it or move away from it, okay? Knight of Pentacles, interesting. Whew, the drama, but you Leos love drama, don't you? <laughs> I'm just going to get a psychic oracle for you guys. Psychic oracle, please, for Leo for the second half of September. What's this? Rest and rejuvenate. That's that Four of Swords energy. So that's where you're going to be. So spirit saying, go within, honor the intuitive hits that you get about how you want to move forward and what makes you happy, okay? Let's see what else. Ooh, too many. Jeez. Choose wisely. What did I tell you? First of all, you're going to have to make a decision because I do see that there's something coming at you and you'll have to make a choice. Also seven of cups energy. So this is confusion a little bit. So you might be a bit confused and that's why spirit's saying you need to go within to assess the situation based on your intuition and what 
feels right, okay? Solitude, hermit card, okay? Double confirmation. This is your energy second half of September. Going within to make a decision. Sacrifice, because you might have to make a sacrifice, okay? To move away from something towards something new. Deception and envy, <laughs> okay? So this is either you deceiving yourself um, about what makes you happy, because this is self-deception, or this is there could potentially be third-party situations here and involving some deception. You're going to have to make a choice. Third-party situations. This is Three of Cups energy, okay? Can't make it up. So much confirmation. We didn't get the Throat Chakra card, but we did get the Ace of Swords. So standing in your truth, guys. Speaking your truth. It's really important. Leo, um, a Romance Angel for Leo, please, for second half of September. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime, okay? So this could be the person, oh, finances and career. So the true love card, this could be the person that you're already in a situation with. I feel like they do see you as true love, okay? And I think part of you feels that way about them. However, like I said, this is about you deciding what's really going to make you happy for the long term, if you're willing to stick it out or if you want to move towards something new. But there is true love there. And I also think you have new love coming in as well, okay? Um, finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So that could be that Knight of Pentacles energy that this person's taking too long to get their shit together because there's financial issues um, at hand, okay, that's slowing them down. Playfulness, to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Well, you are very playful, Leo, and I think possibly that this has been wearing you out and you miss that. And you might have an opportunity now to get into something that's a bit more playful or your person is going to come through with a new energy and want to be more playful with you because you miss that. All right. So someone wants to, like I said, reignite, you know, the love, recreate love for you in your current connection. And I also see it coming in from somewhere else. Okay. Um, one wisdom of the Oracle, please spirit. And then I'll wrap up wisdom of the Oracle for Leo. Come to the edge. This is like the full card. Ooh, okay, so this is definitely taking a leap of some kind, one way or the other, okay? <laughs> what else did we get? Yin, there it is. This is that Empress energy, divine feminine. So you are so open and ready and receptive for love right now, and that's why you're attracting love, okay? Yin is about, you know, that, that um, you know, open and receptive energy. It's being in the flow, that feminine flow, okay? Also standing in your power, okay? Knowing that you deserve love. Poised, poised for blessings. Mm, beautiful card, Leo, okay? So good stuff coming in for you either way, all right? Whatever decision you make, I think that you're the person that really wants to offer you something, though it's a little slow. <laughs> and I think you potentially have something new coming through, okay? All right. Positive news for you guys for second half of September. Um, I hope that it resonated for you guys. And if it did, um, if you could give me a like and a comment, as I said, and I will check in with you in two weeks time. Okay, lots of love.